Welcome to the Trailhead. My name is Brian and today we are at Little Marshall Falls and we are going to go behind a waterfall. Let's go. So it wouldn't be a trail if there wasn't a really sketchy rope to get down. And here is our sketchy rope leading to a really cool bridge. But unfortunately, we're going to have to trust this wet, muddy rope to get down. Okay, so we've made it down the sketchy hill with the sketchy rope and have arrived at the train bridge. Ooh. After crossing the train bridge, we are now going to begin going up this trail off to the Middle Falls. Oh hey, what are you guys doing down there? So I had a question for you guys. How could I make these videos more entertaining for you seeing as you're watching it? I want to make sure that these videos are entertaining and as high as quality as possible so that you guys are getting the best out of this. So let me know down below what's one way that I can make these videos better. Thank you so much. Here's another view of the upper falls. We're just above where that stream is coming down from. And also right behind us, is just a really cool landscape. You can probably tell how gloomy and cold it is. Anyhow, let's keep going. We gotta reach the middle falls where we can go behind the waterfall. The trail is pretty flat. Perfect start of the season and perfect for families and kids. Except maybe the trail is a little muddy. To be expected in Western Washington. We are making our way down to the middle falls where legend has it, you can go behind the waterfall. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have officially made it to the middle falls. And this is the waterfall that apparently you can go behind. I've never actually been here, even though I've been on the trail a few times, I've always skipped the middle trail. But you know, let's see what it's got in store for us. Let's go. Guys, check this out. Another super cool bridge with a little stream. We're almost to the middle falls. Let's keep going. I'm kind of jogging at this point. Oh my gosh. This guy is also pretty brave. We're going behind the waterfall just for you guys. I was soaking wet. We just were behind that giant waterfall behind me. And now our mission is to go to the lower falls, the last part of the three parts of Little Marshall Falls. And as you can see, right down there is where the lower falls are. So, without further ado, let's go. We are now at what is the lower falls, the last part of Little Marshall Falls. And it doesn't look so little. And as you can see in the last part, that was a massive waterfall, so I don't know where Little came in the picture. Anyhow, here is the lower part of the falls, aka the little part of the falls. Anyhow, let's go check it out. Some super steep stairs, so be careful. It's super muddy. Don't wear these crappy shoes like I have with absolutely no traction. And then nose there, so be even more careful. As you can see, that big rock doesn't look very comfy for a picnic now, does it? It doesn't even look like you can really get to it. So we've seen all three parts of Little Marshall Falls, and we're headed back to the car now. It's a couple miles away. 
fortunately for you guys, you don't have to wait that long. I'm gonna snap my fingers and we'll be right in my car. Like this. Just like that, we are back in the car and I'm ready to go home and take a nice hot shower and get out of this cold rain. Anyhow, it's been real. Thank you guys if you made it this far. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next trailhead. Peace out.